regards to this video now today is just a really quick video addressing a problem that a lot of you guys have been getting you've been asking me the question of why your Epson EcoTank printer is blocking or your stencils are really weak and you're asking me when you've seen my videos how do I get my stencils from the Epson EcoTank really really strong and bold and then you guys are trying it and then they're printing out really weak so first and foremost guys do not throw your printer away guys we're gonna fix it today so quickly before we get into all the fixes I want to explain what I think is going on with the vast majority of people and their stencils when the message is saying the stencils are weak or the printer's blocked now this is usually after they've refilled the tanks they could be using inkjet stencils they could be using eco stencils but I find the problem is the printer's been working fine then they change the product or they buy the same product they refill it and then the printer's suddenly blocked and they jump to the instant conclusion well it must be the new product that i put in the printer so i want to explain what i think is going wrong when you do refill the tanks and then suddenly it becomes blocked it's not the ink that you're filling the tanks up with it's more to do with when you're filling the tanks up now if you're anything like me imagine it like a car you should really run your car with at least half a tank of fuel all the time but unfortunately i never do that and i always let the petrol light get right down to the red the light starts flashing ping 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 telling you to refuel you know you've got 10 miles left before it runs out of petrol and then i go to the garage to do it and i do it most times and when you do this it starts to suck up all the crap in the tank and it puts it through the tiny injectors and then you potentially face with a broken car now this isn't because of the fuel that you put in it's because you've let the fuel run so low that it started to suck up all the crap out of the tank and it's exactly the same with the epson eco tank printers and you know most people don't have a spare bottle of stencil ink lying around it's quite expensive so you probably just get it when you absolutely need it so essentially what you do you let the tank run really really low pretty much till it's bone dry and then you refill it with your new product or even the same product and then surprise surprise you do a couple of printouts and then either the head's blocked on the printer or your stencils come out really really weak so first of all i'm just going to quickly explain the main fix and the most obvious fix which you should do but this fix is quite time consuming and it can get quite messy then i'm going to cover a couple of more obvious fixes like cleaning the printer heads and a clean which you might not know about called the power clean and then finally guys if you've exhausted all these options and you're still not getting the results that you want i'm going to give you not so much a fix but a hack which is instantly going to improve your stencils and you're going to be printing out nice bold stencils like the ones i have in all my videos then we can lower those stress levels and get on with what's important which is tattooing so guys take your printers back out the bin plug it in and let's get straight into this video so before we get into the fixes we're first going to diagnose a couple of possible problems so usually what you'll do is when you're using the EcoTank printer is firstly open your software. I'm using Adobe Photoshop because I'm comfortable with that, but they're all pretty much the same, the program. So just use what you're comfortable with. Some people use Procreate. So what most people do to make a stencil in Photoshop is they make sure that the color, the foreground color is black, the background color is white. Go to filter, filter gallery and make sure that the photocopy option is ticked. From here, you can change the detail accordingly, what you need for the stencil. You can change the darkness. And when you've got it how you want it, OK. And the important thing to do as well with stencils that you're printing out on the printer is you need to flip them horizontal, because if you don't, when you put them on the skin, they'll be back to front. So to do this, go to Image, Canvas Rotation, Flip Canvas Horizontal. And from here, we're going to go to File and Print. I'm going to select our EcoTank printer from the list and print this first stencil. Now, if you notice with this one, you can see there's hardly any stencil there at all. You obviously couldn't use this for a tattoo. And if you're getting results like this, then this would suggest that you've got a print head that's blocked. So what we talked about at the very beginning, you probably sucked up some crap through the tank when it's run low and now it's blocking the print head. Don't forget guys, these print heads are tiny, tiny, less than pinpricks. So anything at all, foreign objects in that tank that gets into that 
is going to create massive problems. So it's usually when people get these results and they keep printing and printing and printing and they still get the same results, they get frustrated, they bin the printer and then they never try these stencils ever again, which is a massive shame because these save so much time. I wouldn't use anything else personally in my studio other than one of these printers now for stencils. So if we are getting this, then this is suggesting a blocked print head. The most obvious fix to fix this is not the most simple one, and it's definitely the most messy and time consuming one. But here's what to do. So to unblock the heads, we need to get the print jets unlocked from their seated position. So we'll lift this up. You can see this is where the ink jets are located. So a lot of people think because you fill the tanks up here, the blockage happens here and it doesn't. It happens at the bottom of here. So how this works is you put the stencil ink in here and then that gets fed through these pipes and then it ultimately goes to the ink jets here and then from here they obviously print out onto your paper. But when the printer is on and not doing anything this is locked in position, you can't move it. So to unlock this, what we need to do is, is make the printer print something. You can just click on the photocopy option just to get the printer printing. And as the paper's coming out, you need to kill the power. By doing that, I don't mean just pressing the button, I mean actually pulling out the power lead at the back of the printer or just turning it off at the mains. So that's what we're gonna do first. So I'm just gonna click copy on this, then confirm the copy. And when I hear the print head moving, I'm going to kill the power. That's the power off, so if we look now, we can see that the print head is over here, and that'll be now unlocked from its position, which will allow us to move it freely. So now what we need to do is actually take off the lid of this. And to do that, there's a little clip on the front which just clips up and there's also a screw at the side. I'm just going to undo this screw. That's the screw there, just keep that safe. Now this will unclip. We can just set that aside. So what we've got here, like I explained before, the ink travels from the tanks, through these pipes, and then into these separate cartridges. They're basically like ink cartridges that you'd, you'd buy for a standard printer, except for these ones are fed by the tank. So we've got our black, yellow, magenta and cyan. So to clean them we need to take off these little pipes which feed the cartridges, but only do them one at a time during the cleaning process. And to take these off it's just a little tug and they come straight off. So from this point, you would need a printer cleaner. Now you can get these from Amazon, eBay, and basically it's a syringe of solution and it's got one of these little pipes on the end of the syringe. And what you do is you set this pipe aside, which was connected to it. You get the syringe that you purchased with the pipe on it and you actually stick it onto this print head. And then all you do is gently squeeze the syringe solution, which will force it through this cartridge and out of the bottom. But before you do this, it's really, really important to get some paper towels, some tissue paper, whatever you want, and line the bottom of the tray with all the tissue because when you squeeze this solution through here, it comes straight out of the bottom. And it's really, really messy and obviously really, really wet. So do be careful with that. Make sure you put lots of tissue paper in the bottom of this before you start squeezing the solution through. Once you've done that, it's just a matter of plugging this back in. That pops back on there. You can clean as many of them as you like. It's usually the black that gets clogged when people complain about these. Stick that back on, put the screw back in. You'd obviously remove all the wet tissue paper that you've got in there to clean all that up. Put the lid down and then turn the power back on. Once you've turned it back on, you'll be greeted with this message just saying the printer might require maintenance and that's only because we cut the power whilst it were printing, but that's perfectly fine, we'll just okay that. And then your printer's back ready. And if we look in here, we can see that the cartridges have all been realigned again. You get all excited because your new printout's coming out, you've unblocked the head, and then this happens extremely weak stencil. It's all there but it's extremely weak and if you put that on the skin you're hardly going to get any transfer if this goes on the skin. 
And this is a pretty simple design, to be fair, but if it was anything like maybe a portrait stencil or something where you needed the accuracy and all that detail, then this is going to be absolutely no good to you at all. So if this is happening, we can use the software to clean the print head. To do this, we'll simply search for our printer, find our Epson, click on Manage, and then we can go to Printing Preferences. From here, we can go to Maintenance. You can do a nozzle check, but we've already done it on that previous stencil. We know it's not printing out well, so we can go to Head Cleaning, and we'll click Start on this. It'll perform a head clean on the inkjet. So let's say that we've just performed the standard software clean. The printout comes out, and you start losing the will to live because the stencil is still really faded and not strong. So if this happens, there's more of an intense clean that we can perform on the printer. So the fix that we're going to try is the power clean. Now, I'd only recommend this if the jets are completely blocked on the printer or you have an extremely weak stencil printouts. So this is obviously the control panel of my Epson EcoTank printer. This particular model is the EcoTank 2750. But if your printer does have the digital screen display, then most of them will pretty much work the same way because they all have the same software. So to perform the power clean, the first thing you need to do is actually turn off the printer. After doing this, you need to check the level of the ink in the tanks. Now, this is really important if you want to do a power clean because the ink levels in the tank must be at least one third full. Now, I will stress they do need to be at least one third full. And the reason for this is because it does use a lot of ink to perform the power clean. And if you haven't got at least one third full of ink in all the tanks, there's a real risk that you could permanently damage your printer. So again, don't perform this unless you've got those ink levels. So to perform this, we hold the help button, which is the question mark there, and also the power button at the same time. Keep them held in, and then you'll get this message on the screen. Run power cleaning, confirm all ink tanks are at least one third full, which we just spoke about. And then from there, we click OK, and then just simply follow the on-screen instructions. I'm not gonna perform a power clean on this because my printer doesn't need it. But also further to this, why I'm not going to do it is because between each power clean, you need to turn off the printer for at least 12 hours. And basically, I need this printer to be working for the studio. It's also worth noting, if you haven't got an Epson EcoTank printer with a digital screen, you can still perform the power clean, which should be available in the software options near the maintenance section. So let's assume that we've exhausted all our options and we're still getting weak printouts, faint printouts, or printouts just completely missing. Then here is the hack, which hopefully is going to instantly fix your stencils. So I'm just gonna undo all this which we did before and take us back to the start. So we're gonna stencil this in exactly the same way as we did before, but we're gonna change just one thing. And that is the color black, the foreground color. And we're going to change this to red. Now when we create our stencil, it's going to make it into a red stencil. And the reason that we're using red is because the printer doesn't know that there's stencil ink in all the tanks. It just thinks that it's standard, regular printer ink. So when you change the colour to red, it's not going to just use the black tank, but it's going to use a combination of the tanks to create the colour red. So in effect, what we're doing is we're actually tricking the printer to using all the tanks instead of just one. So we're gonna flip this like we did before. Now I will say guys, before you do this, make sure that you have got ink in all the tanks. That's really important. So now let's go to file, print, select our printer and print. And just like that guys, we have an instant fix, a really bold stencil. You're gonna have no issues with this stencil whatsoever. This will transfer to the skin. Super bold, super strong. If we compare this to our previous stencils from a completely blocked head right the way through and using the hack of changing the stencil to red. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And if you've taken anything from this video at all, take a second out right now smash that like button let me know that you've liked it because every like on the videos really does help the channel grow and it helps me create more content for you guys the subscribers don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've already subscribed it's really important to check that notification bell stay up to date with all my latest videos for that said guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one